We're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and this is a another light shooter game. This is Operation Wolf. And um, like I always somehow mentioned, this came out on the NES. Operation. Operation initiated. Not on the PlayStation though. When I seem to be playing a lot of uh, NES ports, I mean the original games, not the ports, sorry. Although I'm more familiar with the NES one. I only saw this on the arcades a few times. Uh, I uh, didn't really play it because it's very very hard to aim you have uh, you're holding like a Uzi connected to the arcade oops which is uh, pretty violent if you think about it and if you're wondering how I'm controlling the cursor right now it's uh, again it's weird I'm using the analog of a PS4 controller so I wonder if this is actually still playable if we don't have a, a, if you're not using a controller that has a analog. Okay, and that's just the first stage. This game much, might be a lot better if it has unlimited ammo. Because as soon as your ammo bullets run out, it becomes practically impossible. There seems to be some certain positions I cannot actually target. I cannot put the cursor there. Like for example, there on the corner, left, down, left. You have I, a lethal this is the Sorry, most I can you are push the controller. Uh, even the up, left, also seems to have a limit. So. I should try it with the regular controller next time but definitely I would say that this game is just not playable I mean it runs you can play it to some extent but it's just not uh, I wouldn't really advise it here <laughs> I'm not gonna have a good time with this one it's because of the controls uh, stick with the NES version. It's much more playable. It's just hard to target anything with this. Yeah, let's face the grenades. Yes, I am finished here, and alright, I don't really recommend this game, and you're watching 8-bit days a week, please like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching.